CEO Ronick from Creating the Difference. I want to talk to you a little bit about some Tau evolution for a few moments. So we're going to kind of start off with kind of the beginning. So in bowling, uh, the way things kind of began for quite a quite a while, where people would use these big, big, huge towels like I got right here, and this is actually a terry cloth type material. If we zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to kind of see the hook and loop, the loop of the actual terry cloth. And that was kind of how towels were used uh, in bowling for quite some time. Uh, the, the benefit to terry cloth towel, obviously, it being really big, uh, it makes it easier to be able to uh, make sure that you've got a clean side to clean with. Um, but also, it's not really that great for removing oil from a bowling ball. These are really popular in the 80s uh, and the 90s. Um, more, more common and more uh, recent technology from the terry cloth, because the terry cloth will actually just smear the oil around on the bowl. It doesn't help to really wipe it off at all, is the microfiber. So then we kind of moved into more of the microfiber type towels. Now, these towels were actually good, too. Uh, they were a little bit smaller. Obviously, I'll go ahead and pull this one out. You can see this one is definitely a lot smaller than the uh, terry cloth towel so to speak. And then if you look in, we'll zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to see there's a little bit more, uh, what I'm going to call uh, texture there. Uh, it's the ability to be able to wipe off uh, the oil from the ball. There's actually, if you were to look at this under a microscope, it looks more like there are uh, little wiper blades on the microfiber. And that is what is actually used to be able to clean uh, the oil off the ball. Really effective method at cleaning off the ball. Once again, though, you can see that towel is still really, really big. So then what ends up happening is, is the evolution kind of begins to come down over here to a leather type pad. Now, the leather type pads are kind of interesting because they're definitely a lot smaller, definitely easier to hold on to. You can see uh, with the leather pad, there's actually a whole lot more uh, texture there. And these actually can be a little bit abrasive. Uh, they can be a little bit abrasive, in, in fact, um, on the bowling ball surface, uh, depending on the kind that you have. But nonetheless, the leather pads have kind of become fairly popular, uh, I think primarily because of ease of use. Uh, one of the downsides or drawbacks to the leather pad is that they're very hard, if not impossible to wash. Obviously, you can't really easily wash uh, leather. There are awful, also different kinds. There's different kinds of leather, uh, but essentially they're all the same. They're made to clean the surface of the bowling ball, right? Wipe the oil off the bowling ball. So they all will wipe the surface of the bowling ball off. The terry cloth, um, <clears throat> not as much, definitely not as much. That material there is just not meant to take the oil off the ball, it more and less smears it around. So then there's a little bit more of an evolution, right? So then there's the advent of dual sided pads. And this one's kind of a hybrid pad here between the Microsoft or not Microsoft, the uh, microfiber, I apologize for that. Shout out to Microsoft, I guess. The microfiber uh, here on the one side and then kind of a synthetic type leather here on the back side. You can kind of see that. So that was kind of uh, another little evolution that's kind of happened as of recent. Uh, and then specifically, more specifically with our products, the Creating the Difference products, we also too have pads. So our pads are primarily designed to be used uh, by bowlers in a very easy to use fashion, right? So our microfiber has that same kind of uh, that, that same kind of texture in it, the same kind of weave to allow you to be able to get a very aggressive uh, cutting action of wiping the oil off the ball. You know, it wipes the oil right off the bowling ball. Uh, yet then we put a backing on it, uh, a more of a textured, uh, harder backing, not harder, but, but actually it's a very uh, sticky type backing. So you can hold on to it easier. That's why we did that. And then um, we also have the ability to have uh, dual sided pads as well. So this right here happens to represent a dual sided pad, as you can see. Uh, it's actually got uh, a micro suede, which is a softer material uh, on one side, and then a, a Sherpa type material on the back, which is actually really good at wiping off uh, oil in a dry environment, specifically uh, for dry towel rule. This is the dry towel uh, uh, pad that we've developed specifically for a dry towel because it's very good at being able to not only absorb oil, but be able to get it off the ball and hold it into the surface itself. So it's very, very absorbent, which obviously uh, with the dry towel rule, uh, being, that, being the only thing you can use as a dry towel, you need it to be super, super absorbent. The best of all of all these pads are actually washable, and they are uh, reusable very, very easily. Then last but not least, uh, lately we've re reintroduced or introduced the True Cut Hand Applied Polish Powered by Turtle Wax, and it comes with its own type of pad. This is a polishing pad. This is a synthetic uh, type of uh, wool, so to speak. And essentially what it does is it allows you to be able to get a very, very aggressive shine on a bowling ball, not necessarily uh, meant for... Uh, cleaning the bowling ball, it is definitely made for polishing the bowling ball, and it does a good job at that. And then last uh, but not least, we've actually got one more product we're going to show you. It's kind of a mitt, which is kind of an interesting piece because it actually is a convertible mitt. You can turn it inside out. This microfiber that we've talked about before here, I'll zoom in on that. You can kind of see the microfiber of it. 
Then it also has some interesting properties. If you flip it inside out, it turns into a Sherpa on one side and then a, a leatherish type backing on the other side to keep your hand from being able to get moist uh, when you use it with the cleaner. So this is kind of an all-in-one type pad, so to speak. So now you have a little bit more information, a little more education on pads and pad technology. Any one of these pads can work for you and for your game, depending on what you're trying to do. If you have more questions, need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.